Good afternoon. This is Pastor Carl from St. Peter's. It's Friday, May the 22nd, uh, and I've got a weekly update for you from the church. Uh, this is Memorial Day weekend, and uh, here in Carteret County, that means it's the beginning of the tourist season. Uh, more importantly, this is a chance for all of us to remember the sacrifice of those brave men and women who've given their lives over the years to defend the freedoms that we enjoy, those freedoms that we often take for granted. You know, among those freedoms, uh, one of those is the freedom to worship as we choose. In that regard, you may be asking the question, so when will we be back at St. Peter's worshiping in the sanctuary? Well, I met this week with our worship committee and we talked about when we come back together, what will worship look like? And we had to consider a lot of things like, is there going to be singing? Are we going to be able to take communion? What about the passing of the peace? Because, you know, folks in this church love the hug. Well, we've got to get some guidelines in place. We've got to take uh, into consideration our congregation. You know, we have many in our family who are elderly or who are infirm, um, and we don't want to put them at risk. We don't want to put anybody at risk for that matter. Therefore, just because the government says that we can't open our doors doesn't mean it's the best thing for us to do yet, and it certainly doesn't mean that we have to. I'll be meeting this week with the staff parish to further discuss how we're going to move forward as a church, and hopefully we'll be sending out some information to everybody next week. In the meantime, uh, we're going to continue our online worship, uh, and we're going to continue our Zoom Wednesday night prayer services. Now, we are in phase two of the reopening of the state, and I want to remind folks that as you venture out, please exercise care when you're out in public. Um, wear a mask. Wear a face mask. It's not for your own protection, but that of others. Remember, as Christians, we are called to do no harm. And believe it or not, wearing a face mask is part of that because we do no harm by watching out for our neighbors. And speaking of our neighbors, uh, I want to remind everyone that we have our food drive here at the church tomorrow from 10 to noon. We're collecting um, non-perishables here in the parking lot. All you need to do is collect some food, drive in, you can stay in your car. We'd rather you stay in the car. We'll get your stuff out for you, and we'll get it into the hands of the needy in our community through Martha's mission. You know, folks, we don't have to gather in the church to be the church. I'd like to share with you this afternoon for just a few minutes um, a reading from Scripture. This comes from the fourth chapter of Philippians, beginning with verse Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again, rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. In the midst of everything going on around us, we can rejoice. We can rejoice because of what God has done for us in Christ. He's forgiven our sins, and he's given us new life through Jesus' death and resurrection. He's given us the gift of the Holy Spirit, to strengthen us and to give us hope no matter what uh, this world may bring our way. And he's done all of this so that we may know peace. It's a peace that makes no sense to the world because it is a peace beyond all understanding. And I pray that you know that hope-filled peace and that you can let that hope shine through in all you say and do. Because the world needs Jesus right now in a bad way. 
what better way for others to see and meet him than through us, his children. So hang in there, brothers and sisters. We will be back together, and hopefully soon. Remember, I am praying for you.